What does your face tell you about the minerals you're deficient in? You're about to learn. I would go near a mirror for this one. And I'm so sorry, you're probably not gonna look at anyone else ever the same again because of you'll start noticing this. I don't wanna judge people based on what you're seeing on their faces, but just interesting research into slight mineral deficiencies on several very important minerals and these electrolytes, these minerals, absolutely essential to living. I'm gonna cover 10 of them today and I'll actually show you those wrinkles, those spots, those marks, those tendencies on your face could literally be solved or mean that you're deficient in one of these 10. You ready? Let's dive in. Are you close to the mirror? <laughs> I hope you have fun with this one. Number one right out of the gates, iron. It's one of the biggest. So many people struggle with it. What are the signs on your face that you have an iron deficiency? What you'll typically see is there could be a bluish little vein right here. Okay, some of you have this iron deficiency. Also, what you may start to see is that the side of your cheek here or back in this part of it could have a bit of a paleness to it or a vein on it as well. Also, your lips being pale. If your lips are pale, that is the number one warning sign that you are lacking iron. The absorption of iron, really dictated by B vitamins and the acid in the stomach, you'd want to address digestive health and then take a proper form of an iron ferrochel or an iron chelate that's got a good binder to it that's gonna get past the stomach acid and actually get into your blood. Now, the warning sign you have too much of this, which also becomes a major problem the older you get, especially post-menopause for women and then just men in general, is we keep accumulating iron and there's no way for it to get out. If your lips are really red, especially older you are, the more red they are, you might have too much iron built up. Get a simple ferritin blood test that will tell if you are high. If you're over 100, you simply give blood. It's a good way to lower it back down. Number two is potassium. Now I think pretty much all Americans are deficient on potassium because compared to our ancestors, we eat half as much or less of potassium each day. And we eat way more sodium than we should be each day. But there's some classic signs for potassium being deficient inside of your body, and it deals with wrinkles. So you might want to take a peek at this one. These ridges on the corner of your eye, kind of a ridge right through this area on either side, not necessarily full on wrinkles coming out this way. We'll talk about those more in a moment. But ridges right on the edge of the eye, that is a warning sign that you're lacking in potassium. Green leafy vegetables, green juicing, or an electrolyte supplement will really get this potassium back in you. Now, you can also, if it's specific types of potassium, like potassium iodine, which might be a good one that you'd find in a food like kelp or a food um, or in a supplement form, there's redness around the eyes, okay? The eyes themselves are not bloodshot, but it's almost like you've been staring at a computer for a long amount of time and you're exhausted, but yet you haven't, right? Now, if you have been doing that, if the eyes themselves are bloodshot, you're just tired, okay? But if you have redness consistently around the eyes and the eyelids right through here, that's a classic warning sign that you're lacking potassium, green leafy foods, green juices, or an electrolyte supplement or something like kelp to get that potassium iodine back into the system. Number three is magnesium. Now here's an interesting warning sign on your face of lacking magnesium. Red ears. You ever notice someone that just has really red ears but for no apparent reason? They haven't been in cold weather, they haven't been rubbing in or being rough on them or anything, but the redness of the ears, magnesium deficiency. Also what you might get is little milia around the eyes. These are almost like little white bumps around the eyelids. If you notice those, you need to get more magnesium inside of your body. My favorite source is black beans. Almonds is another great source of it, or you could supplement with an electrolyte powder to get magnesium in the system. Number four is sodium. You might not be absorbing it properly, or you might be just getting a lot of the processed sodium. This is really a good sea salt, real salt sodium that oftentimes we do lack. We get a lot of processed, but we're not getting enough of the proper. We're getting a lot of NaCl, but maybe not something like sodium phosphate. Now, if you're lacking here, you get a really shiny forehead, almost a little bit greasy, okay? Your nose can also have this shininess to it. And also the key, a shininess around these eyelids, okay? Those signs, so some of us are just a little more greasy or a little more oily, okay? That's not what I'm referring to, but if you get there, you get on the nose and around those eyelids, that's a warning sign that you gotta have a little bit more of the salt to hold that fluid in. 
also what you could see in extreme cases, if you look at the back of the tongue, a bit of yellowness forming on the back of the tongue. So I know it's not totally the face, but back in the back of the tongue, little more proper sodium in, simple sea salt, adding it to food, a little bit in your water, or a good electrolyte powder to get those sea salts back in. Easy ways to recover with real salt. Number five is silica. Now, what this tells us on our face that we are lacking in it is you get the little wrinkle right in front of the ears. I'm sure you've seen someone with one of these. You might have these, but you get these wrinkles right in front of the earlobes. If you have those going on, you might want to add a little bit of silica into your body. Now, it's you don't want to get too much silica, but we do need a little bit. And the, my favorite, 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 this might be my, one of my favorites of all vegetables next to broccoli and cucumber, green beans. Green beans are a great source of natural silica. So enjoy yourself from green beans. Mama Living Good used to pick them straight out of the garden and you enjoy those. It's a rich source of silica to hopefully help eliminate a little bit of that wrinkling in front of the earlobes. Number six, calcium. Outside of bone density issues sometimes that can occur with this, the warning sign on your face of calcium deficiency is either the wrinkles that kind of come this way, down and out. They have sort of a down and out wrinkle to them, not just the spider ones on the side that kind of go always you know, like a sun ray, but these just sort of down and out. Or the main one that I want you to look for is if there's a droopiness of the skin above your eyelid, right? It's almost like the skin of your eye is hanging over your eyelid. That's a warning sign right there. One, you know, obviously there could be weight involved in insulin and holding fluid, but you're lacking calcium when that hangs down. So we don't want to overdo calcium. I would never recommend more than 600 milligrams of it. You can do a little bit of supplementation with it. Be sure you're taking it with other minerals and fat-soluble vitamins so it properly gets placed inside of your body. And I would primarily focus on green foods to get calcium as a source as opposed to dairy products, which can inflame some people. If you are going to have dairy, make sure it's organic. Number seven is copper. Now, overtaking other minerals and you know just lots of vitamin D or D2, lots of zinc, you take some of these and you get minerals out of balance because you're just overdosing with some of them. I see people taking just huge amounts of zinc or something like that and you get the other minerals out of whack and one of them is copper, okay? Now, telltale sign on your face that you have a copper deficiency is if you look just on the very inside of your eye right here, where the upper eye and the lower eye come together, you lose pigmentation in the corner of that eye. Now, probably have wrinkles on the face as well with the copper loss, but especially that pigmentation right in there, if it's just a little bit whiter than the rest of your skin, telltale sign you need to get a little bit of copper and it doesn't take much. A milligram, two milligrams is plenty. Uh, a good multivitamin will have that in there. Number eight is selenium. Selenium is highly tied to the thyroid. So if you have a thyroid issue, you wanna make sure that you're getting this mineral into your diet. But what happens with selenium deficiency on the face is you get this bigger indent on the inside part of the eye and on the nose. So it's indented in inside of the eyes and on the nose. It's almost as if you're wearing glasses, right? If you've ever worn glasses and then when you take them off, you have an indentation for where the glasses have been sitting. It's like that except you weren't wearing glasses. If that's the case, selenium deficiency, my favorite, Brazil nuts. Four or five Brazil nuts a day, more than your dose needed of selenium. Very simple to get in. Number nine is boron. Now boron, not a very common one. We definitely don't wanna overdo it, but a really simple sign that you have boron deficiency. If you were to look at a side profile of yourself, look at the eyelids. And what the eyelids will do is they will curl up at the end of the eyelids as if you took a curlier, curler and actually curled them yourself or were wearing mascara to get a curl in there, except you didn't do either of those. <laughs> so if you don't have mascara on or makeup and you didn't curl them and there is a curl at the end of it, you may just need to touch more boron into your system. And again, you can simply get that from a multivitamin. Number 10, zinc. Zinc is incredibly important for the immune system. It stops viral replication. So we wanna be getting enough of it, especially when it's colder out, to fend off viruses. But how do you know if you're deficient in it? There's a couple telltale signs right on your face. There's a vermilion line that can form, and it's almost just a faint white line right at the top part of your lips. Just a faint little white line right at the top part of your lips. You may also get little white spots under your nails. I know that's not your face, but you might get little white dots underneath those nails. Your, your fingernails kind of growing out. There's a white one underneath there. That's a telltale sign that you got some zinc deficiency. Or finally, back to the face, 
kind of a later onset cystic, um, you know, a little bit of intense acne. Kind of pops up and it's a bit more cyst-like. That's a telltale sign that you have some zinc deficiency. It's a very simple fix. You can eat nuts, you can eat forms of poultry and eggs to get zinc into your system, or you can simply supplement it with it. Like my vitamin D complex, we have those all combined together. So these are 10 signs right on your face that are a dead giveaway. You might need some minerals. If you need electrolyte powder, check it up above. Also tying into that as your face is aging, what's the rest of your body telling you? Getting stiff and getting old, what do you need to counteract those things? What is your body missing? Well, I made a video on exactly that, of what's making you feeling, feel stiff and old. The rest of your body is kind of getting wrinkly along with it. Check that video out right here to help you out. To fight father time and try to slow down that aging process as much as possible. Check it out.